Today we're going to get your tree weaving ready and you'll need your painted plate. Mine is plain of course and you're going to need the tree template. You'll need to arrange it on your plate where you want it to be. So lay it down on top of where you want it to be and get it lined up. Use your pencil and one hand hold Hold the template steady in one hand and then everywhere there's a notch you're going to make a little tick mark just one for every tick mark count to make sure that you have them and that they're all in the correct space if your plate moved at all your template you may have to re erase and then try again. After you get done with your template, you need to find some scissors and cut just the rim where your tick marks are. So one, two on the bottom, and then cut all the way around the outside. If you accidentally go too far, it's not a real big deal. Now we're ready for some tape. Just one piece of masking tape. Set that aside. Pick out the yarn that you would like to use to get started with your weaving. Find the end of it and you're going to flip your plate over and put your tape on it with about an inch and a half to two inches of a tail. Put your tape on that, flip it over, and you're going to go from the bottom, we're going to call these the roots, up to the branches. You don't want to pull too tight because your plate will start to bend like this, and we don't want that. There's a, a balance. You don't want it to be too loose. You don't want it to be too tight. You're going to go up to the first branch, go around the back and through the other notch, kind of like flossing teeth, back down to the second root. Then you're going to go around to the other side of the root, up to the third branch. Again, not pulling too tight. Around the back, back down to the second root. Let's see that how that looks so far. The next thing you'll do, go around behind again, up to the next branch. And all we're doing is going around and down, around and up, around and down. Back of the plate, down to the root around the back of the root, up to the next branch, around behind, back down to the root, around, up to the next branch, untangle my yarn. around the last branch and back down to the last root. So you should have five and five. With the remaining yarn, come up and then pull a bunch off. This is going to be the bottom of your tree or your tree trunk. So you don't need a lot of it, maybe like an, less than an arm's length and give it a cut. Now I have this tail of yarn. I'm going to go underneath my tree trunk and I like to gather a little ball of yarn. Go underneath and all we're doing right now is wrapping. Pull kind of tight. This is going to be your trunk or your fan or whatever you're going to turn your weaving into. So pull tight 
and wrap around. That's all we're doing, wrapping around. You can wrap it as tall as you'd like. And the key is to keep wrapping up instead of wrapping around. That will give you the length in your tree trunk. And I wrapped my, or warped my tree kind of tight. Do you see how my plate is bending a little bit? So hopefully you will do better than me. So if I'm happy with this right now, the way my tree trunk is, then what I'm going to do is take the end of my yarn and go around the closest branch and give it a tie. Go around, loop it through, and give it a tie. I'm pulling it down close to my tree trunk. That's all I did. I'll do one more knot just so you can see it. Underneath, and I have a loop here. Tuck the tail through that loop. Pull the loop and pull it down, giving it a tie. And once you're done with that, just give it a trim. And you are ready to start weaving.